Hi, it's Megan. So I said no more Tom Ford eyeshadow quads, but um, I guess, I don't know, I was wrong or I lied or whatever. So this is a video review for Starry Night. Just checking to make sure the uh, microphone's on. So Starry Night is one of the five new shades of eyeshadow quads that Tom Ford came out with in January 2016. So the rumor is and I think no one's gotten final, absolute, 100% confirmation from Tom Ford, the company, but um, the rumor is four palettes are being retired and five are coming in and the five new ones are permanent, but we don't know for sure. So I will, oh, I should put links to all the videos so that all the videos are linking. I will link all the videos when I, after I get this one uploaded. Um, but this, like I said, is Starry Night and it's on. Um, and lately with, these blues. I've been playing around with purples so just to start the video normally with eye colors like this I would do either soft coral peachy cheeks and kind of a nude peach based um, lipstick or I would do a nude pink based lipstick and slightly peachy looks just depending on what else I wanted whether a cooler or, or warm look but with blues lately I've been playing with purple lips so you've got Nars Dominique and then you've got a face shop peach coral blush to warm up my cheeks with Urban Decay Bittersweet over it, which is a purple. So these are $80. They are outrageously expensive. And what I learned is Tom Ford Direct via the store or online does not take used palettes back, used makeup back, but all the department stores do. So if you're not sure about one of these, I wouldn't tell you where to buy anything, but I would recommend buying it from department store. So this is the palette and it's got my fingerprints all over it. I always say I can't figure out how not to occasionally get fingerprints all over Tom Ford. It's not the easiest to clean up but it's so beautiful. And then it's got the beautiful uh, mirror and this is 0.35 ounces and there are the four colors with the brushes which I don't use. Um, and obviously I'm wearing the colors on my eyes. So I'm going to tell you what I think overall and then I'm going to go through the shades and how I applied them after. The reason I'm kind of hesitant as I'm talking on this video is I do like this palette. I do. Honestly, I do. But I think for $80, this is the weakest of the palettes I've tried. And there are a couple reasons for that. Um, first of all, the shades are really pretty. They they are. Look, it's really pretty. Um, but mostly they're dupable. And there are a couple that I thought the quality was a little lacking. So the Tom Ford formula, there's the Wet Dry, which is like New Dip, and the New Honeymoon, and that one tends to, I think, be a little creamier, richer, um, and it applies more, not like a cream shadow, but just a little bit richer on. And the regular shadows are not just marketed beautifully, they actually are really beautiful. A lot of the shades can be unusual and the formula itself, I don't need to use an eyeshadow primer, including for, well, eyeshadow primer didn't work so well with this one, but um, I don't need to use an eyeshadow primer. Uh, it usually applies beautifully, blends beautifully, and it lasts eight plus hours. The issues I've occasionally had with Tom Ford shadows, and this one in particular, is two things. One, sometimes the way the, the colors seem to work together, they tend to muddy up occasionally in some of the palettes, and I thought that was particularly bad when they had the three duos with the colors, the blue, the green, and the purple, although I did think Last Dance had a little bit of that, which is one of these new eyeshadow quads. You had to be careful not to muddy them up. And I think here, two of the shadows really blend together so close on because because they're not so pigmented um, which is unusual for a Tom Ford palette in my experience although I'm fairly new to the brand um, so I don't have the best experience going you know since it started so these are the shadows and um, I have kind of a smoky eye look and I felt like with a lot of the newer quads and I don't have the lilac one these actually worked really beautifully for that kind of smoky, sophisticated, really glamorous eye look. And I would definitely say that about this one. This one is just, I don't know, you can just imagine some jet-setting, glamorous woman wearing this, in my opinion. And that's not me. Uh, this is the first shade. And so this one is probably my favorite of all the shades. 
and you can see it there. I have the outdoor swatches just because I've never really felt like the cameras can capture either on video or just on like a picture the full complexity of a lot of makeup. When you put it out in the sunlight, it looks really different. So this one I said is slightly metallic, cool gray platinum. And I always say that I love these ethereal shades. This looks like an ethereal shade. And I've got that in the inner part of my eye right here, the inner half. And then I also blended it right in here with a brush, not with my finger, right in the beginning inner corner. Um, and what that does when you're doing a smoky eye, if you put like a lighter shade in the inner corner, inner half of your eye, it opens up your eye and the smoky eye doesn't look heavy, which sometimes on me, especially if I'm wearing a smoky eye in the daytime, could look a little heavy on me because I've got so much lid space. Um, this is the next shade. I didn't get a very good swatch, which was not uncommon with this palette, by the way. We'll get to those two in a second. This one is a glitter in an almost sheer gray base. So this is the glitter shade. And I saw a tiny micro glimmer in it, kind of pink, blue, silver, light cool, they're all cool tones and light and very shimmery. This is not going to show on my arm because it, very well when it's swatched, well I guess it does better than I expected. It's like this beautiful, gorgeous, gray, iridescent, shimmery, very light. And both of these two shades can be used as a highlight too. So this I put in the inner part right here, really using it as a highlight to open up my eyes right in there under the brow. And I also put it in the inner corner. So if we put a little bit more, I'm going to look a little glittery. You can see that it just kind of opens up your eyes. Um, okay, now my, uh, my two more problematic shades. With these two, I had a hard time. I try to do only one swatch, one swoop because I want people to see what the shadow really looks like, not when you've like built it up and done a perfect swatch and this is such a great shade. Both of these I thought were a little patchy, the blue more so than the gray. And what was really odd about them is I did build them up so I could kind of see what the shade was, especially the blue. I had a hard time figuring out the shade with one, two, took like four swipes to really do that. Um, but they got less complex as I built them up, which was kind of odd. Uh, applied, I thought they, I think they look better than swatched. Uh, they do blend well, and I guess when you swatch it, you want like a rich swoop of color, but when I was applying it, I didn't want it to dark, which is good, because I probably would have had a hard time building up a really dark color with the navy. Um, so this is the gray, and I said it's a cool dove gray, slightly metallic, and then it has, it almost shade shifts outside at two or three swipes. And in the light, it has kind of pink, gray, and blue, almost micro shimmers. And that's what I felt like a couple of these Tom Fords had. They're so tiny, the little micro shimmers, that I can't see them inside. I can only see these little tiny, tiny micro shimmers outside. So that's what it looks like with one swoop. And because it's like a dove gray, the fact that it's kind of light is okay. And this one was better than the blue. And it is pretty on. So this I have in the outer corner. So I've got the lighter gray in the inner corner, that darker gray. And I've got the blue in the crease and lining the eyes. And then I put a little bit of the darker gray. So it went lighter gray, dark gray, and then navy. But you can see on my lid, the colors are kind of blending in together, which is both a good thing and a bad thing. Um, the ne you kind of, they just do. The next one is the navy color. And, okay, I got a better swatch this time. But you can see, I can see that there's not, there should be a bigger difference in how these look swatched. First of all, the navy's a lot darker in the pan. I just tried to double swatch it, so that's a double swatch. Um, it just fades to like a, I just keep, every time I, every time I swatch it, I look at it like, really? Um, I'm doing it again, even on video, really? It just, it's a navy color. So I said navy, micro glitter, barely visible, slight sheen, lightly metallic. You can see blue, gray, and silver. And it had almost a slight duochrome when I built it up to three layers, but not at four, which I thought really odd. So I've been sitting here like swabbing at my arm, taking it outside going, hmm, what's going on there? So once in a while I do have these reviews where I'm like, okay, this is the best I can do. I can't, I can't be more specific. And I would love to hear comments from people who have this as they look at it to see whether they agree, disagree, what they saw I didn't, because this one kind of had me puzzled. So these are the four colors. Um, you can see, 
it's just a gray smoky eye with a little hint of blue that kind of fades on the swatch to gray but yet I think it looks really blue on so it's kind of an odd one and when I was looking at what was being replaced out uh, one of the eyeshadows that's supposed to be being replaced is Ice Queen which is like three silvery white kind of shades and then a charcoal kind of gray and so I felt like this was the newer Ice Queen and again it's like a smoky eye and this time what Tom Ford is adding is kind of that navy element and um, it's maybe a little less white, a little more gray, a little bit more subtle, sophisticated. So, overall, how would I sum this up? I think that for $80, Tom Ford should have done better, honestly. I think it's a really pretty palette. Um, I think the navy is just a disappointing shade. It's prettier on, like I said, than it's swatched, but I think it should not be quite as, I don't know, blah and not patchy exactly but kind of fading it's like a faded pair of denims which is not what i expect in a smoky eye so that's all i have to say um thoughts comments suggestions and please subscribe on youtube because it does help me a lot if you do and thanks for watching